All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Why don't we go ahead and get started? So, hello everyone. My name is Shanice and Wines, and I am a business expansion coach and strategist, and I'm also the CEO of Wise Armstrong and Associates, which is a coaching and consulting firm for business owners that are expanding, as well as the overseer of the Unstoppable Community. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And today, the reason why um, we're doing this video is for me to share with the world, to share with all of you, one of my special clients, uh, Miss Lori Kors, who is a health and wellness uh, coach and strategist. And today, we're just gonna kind of share her story and how she's built her business from ground up, trusting God, stepping out on faith, and just doing her thing. So, hey, Lori, introduce yourself to everyone. Oh, thanks so much, Shanice, for having me on. And um, yeah, I um, it, can I tell people how we met? Yes, please do. Please share. So I have been in business for about five years now, and um, I was working full time when I started my coach health coaching business. And um, the Lord uh, had me quit my job April of 2018. And oh my goodness, um, as any of you entrepreneurs know, when you're trying to build your business, you're kind of trying to navigate and you're all over the place, right? Well, um, so I met Shanice at the NABO conference. I think it was June, 2019. It was last yes. year. And it was at a point where I was, um, as you know, we'll talk about this. I'm sure I had shiny object syndrome all over the place. <laughs> and I felt like God was like, all right, we got to hone her in. And we were standing in the breakfast line and I thought her hair was all down. And I said, oh my gosh, what a beautiful lady. I have to say. I have to comment on her hair. And of course this started the conversation. Then we said, what do you do? And I was like, oh no, she's a business coach. This is not good. <laughs> and, uh, and it was perfect timing. And then I saw you in uh, the panel and I just knew when you shared your experiences um, with God and how he was leading you and changing your business, I thought, oh, there it is. So yeah, there we are. <laughs> Doesn't God have a unique way of lining things up? He just, God has a unique way of lining things up because I remember us standing in the line and I think I had just arrived. I put my stuff down at the table. You were standing and we were just talking. We were just talking, but God mm -hmm. always knows what he is going to do, right? We try to take control of our stuff, Lori, but at the end of the day, you know, he's all knowing and he just knows what he's going to do. So let's continue to talk about when we met at the NABO conference last year, right? Mm -hmm. So we saw each other in line. We were catching it up, you know, talking, chit chat, and didn't know each other from Adam. And then you come to the panel that I'm on. Yes. Well, and, and here's the other thing, boy, if um, people ever doubt if God directs their steps, Here's how I even got to the conference. I'm not a, even a member yet of NABO, uh, but one of my friends won a, um, an Instagram contest to win a free ticket to go to the conference. Well, she, she was already going to the conference. And so she asked me if I'd like to go with her and it was at no charge. And I said, absolutely, I would. Let me just change one thing in my schedule and I'll be there. So. What an opportunity that if that wasn't God directing my steps, I don't mm -hmm. know what would be. And then because I registered fairly late, I had to um, pick, I had a very narrow pick of like what breakout rooms, breakout sessions to go to. So um, that was one of mine in the afternoon. And when I saw you, when I saw you there, I thought, oh my gosh. <laughs> She's a panelist and I just knew it. I was sitting in the back and I was just like, I'm going to be working with her. I just know it. 
So what was okay? So we're we're in we're in the session, you know, and it's three of it's three of us, and we're chatting. I think you know I'm talking about business. Another person is talking about career, you know, professionalism. Another person is talking about um, college. And what was it that I said that really stood out to you that made you say, "Okay, she's it." Well, I already, um, I already was feeling something in my spirit, you know, and here's what it was, because I was like, um, I have to work with a, uh, a Christian. Um, and so it, I'll tell you exactly when it was, it was when you were talking about um, working, um, what was it, Mary Kay? Yo, yeah, previous life, yes. Yes, and you said that God told you to quit Mary Kay. Mm -hmm. and do this and I said that's it wow that was that was it so being led by the spirit I I felt it in my spirit and then that just confirmed everything I was feeling wow see you know that's one of the things that we have to know that you have to be you because you never know who God has aligned for you you know what I mean Mm -hmm. like people connect with the real you um so wow I mean I I just remember that like it was yesterday and I remember sitting in the room and I just remember your face and I just remember sharing my story and it was like your eyes were just you were so connected with me and Mm -hmm. then we we chatted you stepped out on faith and you joined my 12-month coaching program and Mm -hmm. it was definitely a faith wall it was definitely a faith work like investing in ourselves at a high level is a faith walk it is like share with those that are watching like how did it feel to invest in yourself at a high level like how did it make you feel yeah Um, definitely scary. I'm not going to lie. Um, um, but I just, uh, I knew it was almost scary, exciting because, Mm. um, I knew that I needed help and, and I knew I was not supposed to give up and just the whole, the way I was feeling, um, during the conference and everything, I thought, wow, I, I just knew that I knew. I was supposed to hire you. So that alone, just knowing that you're in God's will, he takes care of the bill. Mm. I mean, say that again. Seriously, when it, when it's God's will, it's his bill. (laughs) That's good right right there. Yes. Oh gosh. That's good. That's good. It was almost like, yeah, seriously. Um, It was almost like, well, okay you know, and that, that was the exciting part because when you know God is going to come through, that's the exciting part because it's like, how's he going to do it? Oh yeah. (laughs) I'm putting that in the comments. That is wonderful. I love that. I love that. When it's God's will, he takes care of the bill. So now fast forward, tell everyone about you and what it is that you do as a health and wellness strategist and coach. Yeah. Um, my, I believe my, um, my mission is to help people um, live out their purpose. And I feel like right now, especially this year, boy, doesn't the world need us? Mm. The world needs us out there um, being the light, um, shining in our purpose. And in order to do that, you really, it takes energy, doesn't it? It takes Mm -hmm. energy and it takes um, focused and your health. And so I feel like my part in all this is to, um, help people get healthy to run their race. And so, um, we work on, um, habits, of course, you know, uh, we food journal work on our, our everyday lifestyle habits. Um, I really believe that's where the magic is when we can get kind of micro and what's going on. Um, um, I also specialize in helping people with emotional eating because how rampant is, you know, that this year, so understandable, understandably, my goodness. Um, you know, so 
and helping people understand what their triggers are mm -hmm. and helping them overcome those and re just really working together. And um, you know, I do that one-on-one -on -one in group. And yes. the biggest thing that I think, uh, one of the things I bring to the table as well is empathy. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's so important. There's no judgment. People, yeah. here's, I have been through so much <laughs> that I want to be treated with empathy and understanding, not judgment and what's wrong with you kind of thing. So um, I really, you know, um, incorporate that into my coaching. What is the biggest thing? Because I, I can answer this for you, but I want you to answer this. That makes you stand out from everybody else who does, you know, who specializes in health and wellness. Hmm. Um, that sometimes when you're so close to what you do, sometimes you don't see it. So I would be curious to see what you say. Well, I would say because. The, but the I have heard people say um, you're. Your spiritual connection to your health and wellness, you know, I would say that 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 makes you stand up and above the crowd because you know exactly who you serve. You know exactly how, you know, the word can help. Yes. You know, with emotional eating and um, losing weight and mm -hmm. just being okay with who you are. So I don't know if that's what you were thinking, but when I think about you, you know, the, your love for God, your love for Christ, um, it, it separates you from the masses. Yeah. I, in that, you know, the, the group program that we were working on, um, my second one starts this week actually, and I still have a couple more spots open if anyone's interested, but, um, what I love my sweet spot is that I'm incorporating, um, prayer in the word and just open sharing of what God's doing in your life. What are you learning as you spend time with him this week? Um, it is my favorite thing. And then, you know, when, um, when I get a, a scripture in my heart, I, I go on Facebook in the group and do a pop-up. Here's a scripture for you guys. You know, I just felt like the Lord was putting on my heart and that just, Oh, it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> that that's so much fun. And I've seen the, the power of the word in my life so much. So it's coming up from a place of it's a lot. Yeah, you know, you come from, and I think that's one of the things that attracted me to you, you know, because my 12 month program is a very sacred program for me. You know, I, um, that's my favorite program. And I'm very cautious who, in who I allow into the program. And I know that our hearts connected. Um, I know our hearts connected. You are very compassionate. You're very transparent. And all of that, you know, you brought that to the table with the group. And I, that's one of the things that attracted me to you, but also your, your genuine love for Christ. And, you know, I just love how you incorporate that because I do too. And I don't apologize for it. I don't know. I will, I will drop everything and pray over you, you know, in, in, in a heartbeat. So I love that. So share with those listening, what are some of the things that you developed while being in the, in the program, working with you? Absolutely. Um, and I remember saying when we were, we were doing our uh, initial calls and everything, seeing if I was a right fit, if this was a right fit for me, I was like, I don't want to be in a group. <laughs> I don't want to be in a group anymore. I've done groups. I need, I kept saying, I need a lot of personal attention right now because I knew where I was and I knew I was all over the place and needed focus. Um, and you're like, no, I really think you'll get that individual attention, but I really think being in the group is going to help. And I was like, all right, <laughs> and, <laughs> fine. <laughs> And it, oh my gosh, it ended up being wonderful. So um, really what I got out of it was focus mm. um, because during the group calls, there was a lot of individual attention and you had to re keep re reeling me in um, as I know, you know, <laughs> and so really that shiny object syndrome is really gone. Yay. Uh, yay. I know who I am. I know what I'm supposed to do, but that takes some time too. It, I think it sometimes takes 
trying different things. Mm -hmm. Kind of get that out of your system and say, okay, now I've tried all that stuff. I, I know now, and I trust myself to just focus on this. And I found my sweet spot in this group program because I am incorporating um, scripture and uh, the Lord's leading and everything. That really happened as I believe in this whole process over the last year. Um, the other thing was we got to brainstorm on new um, and different services and programs to offer that were pretty simple mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and valuable. And that was, that was, yeah. really cool. and you know, just, um, and how to, and how to do them. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think about your tree, you know, and, you know, for those who know me know that I teach from the analogy of a tree. And I remember when we first started working together, you were kind of just all over the place trying to figure out what was the right direction for you and putting together your tree and the hierarchy of your coaching programs and your high level, your medium level, and then just really how to implement it, the content, the messaging, and how you wanted people to see you, you know, and I feel like that just developed over a period of time. And what I appreciated the most about you is your heart was always open to the different suggestions that I had, because I was able to be on the outside looking in as your coach saying, okay, you want this, but your messaging is not saying that, or, you know, your messaging is saying this, but your program is not saying this. And there's one other thing. I wanted you to see yourself the way that God saw you. Yes. Because a lot of times I felt like, you know, as you were implementing your programs, you were not charging what you were worth. Mm -hmm. you know? And I know that that's something that as business owners, we constantly work on, you know, but just I wanted to get you out of the mindset of, you know, um, you have to charge below what it is that you deserve because you are a ball of wealth and knowledge. You know so much about, I mean, I want you to share with everyone what you're certified in. You got a lot of certifications, you know, and I, I needed you to see that about yourself, that you can charge what you're worth because you bring value. You bring the solution to so many people's problems. I mean, how many people eat based off of emotional issues, whether it's their job, their children, their spouse, their childhood. I mean, there's so many reasons why um, we gain weight and we don't, we don't know how to get rid of it. And we see snack food and, and we feel like that's going to compensate for the different places that we're missing. And you bring so much to the table, so much insight, so much knowledge. And I wanted, I really wanted you to see that for yourself. You know, yeah. so prayerfully throughout this process of us working together, you do see it. But share everyone with everyone what you're certified in. Oh, sure, sure. Well, um, I am a, a dietetic technician registered. It's, it's a DTR. Now that um, very few people understand what, what that is, but it's, a, it's an associate's degree in nutrition. And um, it's a certification through the American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And um, so that, that was a course, coursework in nutrition um, and um, also some food service. So I'm also uh, serve safe certified. I keep that up every two, uh, two years because I've done meal prepping workshops and I've done um, food, you know, work and in that area. So I wanna make sure I keep up my certification in that. Um, I, I completed a two year theology program at Vineyard Columbus here. Um, that was amazing and challenging and everything uh, at the same time. So glad I did that. Oh, it was, it was amazing. I think it was um, so much, um, a lot of healing for me as well. Mm. It, was, it, was, it was wonderful. Um, and I have run um, two different faith-based weight loss groups throughout the years. Um, and I'm a certified health coach through ACE and also a weight management specialist. 
See, so you can't go wrong. I mean, there's so much in there. And not only did we, I wanted to show you how we could create programs for your clients, but for you to see the wealth and the knowledge that you bring, you know, to the table. And that is just, that was so exciting for me as we developed and we grew. So what do you want people to know about Lori? What do you want people to know? Like, to, to me, you're in a place where you have arrived. You have, you know, we develop your coaching program and you just share with everyone that you have a few more spots for those of you who may be listening and may be interested. What do you want people to know after listening to and, wa and watching this video? What do you want them to know about you? I would say um, I have been through a lot. People might not know, but I have um, been through emotional eating. Um, I've experienced it. I totally get it. We all do it for different reasons. Um, I've come through a lot of different life situations and all, um, and I'm here because of the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, that, that is, he's kept me. Um, I developed my relationship with him throughout all these years. And there's just nothing better than living out your purpose. And, um, to not give up, especially, you know, when you hear the Lord um, calling you, um, I've, I've jumped in faith so many times. Uh, I was, I quit my job two and a half, two, a little over two years ago with God saying it's time. Um, it just all kinds of things. So I guess my heart is truly to see people break strongholds in their life um, caused by the enemy. Mm -hmm. somehow and he's just he keeps pointing to the ice cream and he keeps pointing to the cookies and come here let's you know don't go over there and you know don't go to the bible come to the you know the cabinet and the refrigerator and it's just oh here's the other thing i was in the um organic food area manufacturing area for 11 years and so um oh i learned so much about the food system that way, conventional and organic. And just being in that space and answering question after question from the consumers and uh, being in that customer service space for years, I see what people were struggling with. What they're struggling with, yeah. Yeah, and um, working with clients for five years, I just, here's the other thing I realized, kind of putting everything together from my experiences is that um, when you, um, are looking for diets, diet after diet, thinking this is the one. It's kind of like when you're dating or something. <laughs> like, this like, is the one. I know it. I know it. And then you get I, into it and it's not. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's kind of right. So yes. for those that have been yo yo dieting, I, you know, I, I did that unhealthily too. So I've been there as well. And I think what, why that keeps happening is the emotional issues behind why you're doing what you're doing is not being taken care of with just a diet. Yeah. You know, there's so much more to it. And that's yeah. what I love about you. And that's why it was easy for us to create a program um, for your clients because you, you dive into the heart. It's almost like you work with your clients from inward outward. Share a testimony from one of your clients who have joined one of the programs that we created. Um, share with us, because I mean, you, you have some great ones, just how they evolved from what you, what you did. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the one that um, comes to mind is uh, I worked with her for six months last year, and she really... Um, busy, busy executive, uh, wasn't finding time to, you know, just eating on the run and, and everything. Well, she found, she was discovering that having time in the morning to um, meditate or sit with God and whatever, just grounded her. She started doing some yoga just to kind of, you know, get connect, get movement in and everything. Um, that that really changed things. That was the start, I believe. And um, it kind of went from there. And she just realized also um, her susceptibility to food addiction. Mm. And 
she said, Laurie, I think I'm a 10 out of 10 in that area. And so she was really open to working on what she needed to do then. And she ended up losing 30 pounds, 22 inches by December. I checked in on her uh, in the middle of the COVID lockdown situation. I thought, how is she doing? And she texted me back and said, oh my gosh, nothing like being stuck at home to want to go for a hike or go running. Mm-hmm. And she said, I've lo- I kept the 30 pounds off, but I'm still losing inches. That's wonderful. So, you know, there's a lot of diet plans where you lose weight and then you gain it right back. And that's something else that I love about you, Lori. You're teaching them how to lose and keep it off and for it to become a way of life. And that's so beautiful. Yeah. So do you have things in, 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 and I know you do, but I want you to share this with other people to help them stop eating meat, stop eating sweets. You know what I mean? Like, does your coaching program um, center around that? Yeah. um, Not as much meat. We, you know, but I think, I think it's, it's basically why it's awareness. It starts with awareness mm-hmm. of what you're eating right now and why and when, you know, not everything is, um, you know, the, the nutritional part, you know, what mm-hmm. are you eating that's really good for your body? What are you eating sometimes like late at night? I'm mm-hmm. telling you nighttime is the worst it's for the emotional worst. eating. I just, yeah. It's the worst. So so that, why is it the worst? Like what is going on mm-hmm. with that? And each, each person's a little different, but um, it's, dis- it's mainly discovering why is that time of day or mm-hmm. evening? Why is that such a trigger? What's going on? That's the fun part is, gotcha. is talking that out with people. Okay, so now that you know why, then what can, what can you do in the future to avoid that? or to avoid it. So really that's for anything. So even if it was someone who wanted to stop eating meat or someone who wanted to stop eating sweets, identifying why they are addicted to it, why it's causing them to be addicted and then walking them through the process of eliminating that addiction in order to live a life of freedom. So it's you helping them understand instead of, okay, don't eat this, don't eat that exercise. Do What is wrong with me? Why is this an issue with me? So that's good. That's good. That's good. So Lori, as we close this out, what is, if you could share with, you know, maybe someone listening that is, you know, has been following me as a business coach and they are interested and they want to step out and they're just nervous. What piece of advice can you give them? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I would say, listen to, well, sometimes our heart, you know, I would say pray on it for sure. I knew that. Now, let me stop you right there really quick. I just, I just had a spirit to spirit. As a Christian, sometimes we use let's pray about it as a crutch. So talk on that really quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, what, well, I, you know, I knew my spirit just kind of just knew it it connected with yours. I don't know. I don't, not to be all weird about that, but, um, and yeah, not, I mean, truly seeking God, like, Mm -hmm. is this what you want? Because it is an investment, not only financially, but with your time. Mm -hmm. And it is a commitment because you and I, you know, during a session, we're like, okay, this is what you're going to do this next Mm -hmm. week or two. And Mm -hmm. you got to be committed to it. Right. Right. So, um, so it's just knowing that, yes, this is time and God's going to take care of you. Right. Right. God is going to, when, when, like I said, when you know, you're in his will, he has got you. And that's the biggest thing. Amen. I love it. I love it. I love it. So Lori, I just wanted to share the world with you. I think you're amazing. There's a lot of uh, health and wellness coaches out there, but you are a strategist. And those of you who are watching, um, I can vouch. She is amazing. She's been in my program for 12 months and she has built some coaching programs that not only will help you lose weight, it'll help you understand why you do what it is that you do. 
So Lori, I just want to say thank you. Um, I want to say, you know, I pray many blessings over you as you continue to build an amazing business, as you continue to walk upright with God. I'm so excited that you have um, allowed me to coach you, that you stepped out on faith. And um, I'm excited to see what's coming. I really, really am. I am. I am. So those, those of you who are listening, make sure I tag Lori into the video. You can click on her name. Um, all her information is on her page. Um, share your website, Lori. Oh, yes. It's um, seedsofchangenutrition.com. Seeds of Change Nutrition.com. But yeah, go to her page, befriend her. Um, it's Lori Cord. Like, just learn as much as you can. And um, if you're in a place where you're ready, you're seriously ready to change and um, you're ready to put God in it, Lori is the perfect person for you. So, anything you want to say before we close out, Lori? I just want to thank you. Um, for all that you do and um, for praying over me and the whole group. And um, this lady is prophetic too. And she will sometimes just start saying things about you for you. And you're just like, oh my gosh, it's such a blessing. So I just thank, thank you. you for everything. Thank you for being patient with me. For sure, for sure, <laughs> and for sure. For mm -hmm. sure. So those of you following again, my name is Shanice and Wise. I am a business expansion coach and strategist, and I teach business owners like Lori who are already in business that are looking to expand, looking to grow, to, you know, change people's lives, to take their revenue to six figures and beyond. Um, that's what I do. I teach systems and strategies on how to do that. Um, I teach with uh, biblical and spiritual principles. Um, I love the Lord and I love being able to use my gift to empower as many people as I can. So thank you all for who tuned in and who are watching. Again, make sure you reach out to Lori. And Lori, I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.